Welcome to this section of creating predictive models uh, in using Nine. Uh, the first of the workflows we show you how to create uh, predictive uh, models based on random forest using the tree ensemble learner, uh, using uh, the Articate fingerprint, and the later on we will be showing you how to use uh, the other learners in Nine uh, to do uh, SVM prediction. Uh, based on five fold cross validations and uh, uh, how to how to score them and how to plot the rock curves uh, using uh, using nine so already I have uh, executed all my models and uh, the, the workflows are available at get uh, the first I load the files that's the mutagens mutagen smiles file uh, if you want to see what how does it look it has the smiles column you want to render the structure uh, like you can do it later on column 1 contains the IDs and column 2 contains uh, whether uh, it's a mutagen or non mutagen so I generate the fingerprints uh, each case here uh, so first I use the Morgan fingerprint and for advanced uh, features of Morgan fingerprint you can use the number of bits to 2048 and you can change the radius to 4 or 6 so it's a path based fingerprint and it's more very popular in the pharmaceutical industry to use uh, they use a lot of the Morgan fingerprints to do modeling uh, so this one is another fingerprint so this has the, this is the max keys so there are two fingerprints I'll generate the max and the uh, Morgan and pass those fingerprints into the tree ensemble learner where let's see how how do we configure it so it generates an FP column and then from that you uh, can see uh, after this you just uh, give it to this uh, ensemble uh, uh, this ensemble learner and it will use the fingerprint attribute as FP here and will learn uh, based on this uh, based on this fingerprints so it automatically detects uh, the, it's, it's, so once you open the output data here so you can see it's 0101 bit string so it actually partitions every you know every feature into the columns and creates a learning model from that uh, so after that after the model is been done so since it's, it's a random forest, there is no need to do some cross-validation testing or something like that uh, because it uh, the out of bag error generates uh, the out of bag is automatically doing you uh, the random forest uh, the the, the cross-validation for you and also at the end you can see the scorer node uh, tells you the number of mutagens and non-mutagens and uh, which are like false positives and false negatives and the rock curves uh, show plot you can see the rock curves gives you 0.87 uh, the value here and uh, you can also see the area under the curve of non mutagen and you can change you can configure it uh, like you know, change into mutagen or if you want to select mutagen and then just remove it and then select uh, and apply then it will generate the curves for same or mutagen so you can export the file here uh, sorry this one export as the png or svg you need to uh, you need to export this figure and when you write a uh, documentation you need to get this figure so next one is uh, this this pipeline is uh, so after learning you plot the rock curve there is an accuracy confidence meta node which actually uh, 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 st uh, there's a loop here I start with a loop so actually uh, what happens uh, uh, after training the, the, uh, the ensemble learner the random forest learner it generates uh, we show you 
this uh, confidence out of back confidence values so it's these are like probabilities values and range in between uh, 0 and 1 and it tells you what are the probabilities of this one as mutagen and what are not so I do a row filter here uh, so I start with 0.5 because the minimum value is 0.5 to 1 and at each step uh, for so this is this is the loop start so the each step should be like 0 0.05 I filter the rows based on the out of bag error so first is 0 0.5 will get filtered and it will calculate all the positive and the negatives uh, in the set the how many values are does does it like shows uh, a value of 0 0.5 it is, is, is it is the results confident enough or not uh, based on the out of pack uh, confidence uh, uh, probability confidence values so after though after that it generates a file like this so for each iteration so there are like 10 iterations so the accuracy it calculates the accuracy and Cohen's kappa uh, for each of the conf out of back confidence values and just tells you which uh, which of this model which of this is is of high confidence and high accuracy or which which values gives you uh, better accuracy so it says that at confidence 0.95 it uh, gives you a model of like 0.682 which is more uh, a reliable model and then we try to plot that here so this one is the plot and see it goes on something like this so at first it was more confident it has more organized values then confident increases but the accuracy decreases then it again increases here at this point and the remaining two nodes are kind of similar so uh, this is uh, this is uh, how you can do a random forest uh, modeling and next uh, using the SVM fingerprint you read the same file and generate the fingerprints but for in this case uh, like the tree ensemble learner it automatically detects the fingerprints from the column for this you need to expand the fingerprints into columns so what does it do with this node it actually selects the FP column the fingerprint column and expands you into a bit vector column like this you can see there are like 2048 uh, no, uh, cells so bit 1 to uh, 2048 uh, columns and then uh, you can you need to you can do cross validation for co for course cross validation you need to use the x partitioner node and uh, while using the x partitioner it partitions your data into five if you do have if you are doing five four cross validation so you can set it uh, how many do you want uh, say 5 so it will separate the data based on the class column here and separates the data and learns every every partitions and uh, the remaining it, it does the prediction here and then after that you just aggregate all the values of this all the partitions and output the results and you can see the scorer node here and generate the confusion matrix and so as you can generate the rock curve also I didn't do it here but uh, on the second pipeline you can uh, you can do the do this so the next pipeline is also kind of very similar where uh, you can generate the fingerprints now if you want to do s remove some columns like uh, low variance uh, columns uh, then you can use a ro uh, low variance node here you can type it in the node repository you can also filter out constant columns uh, here so if the if the value is zero it will remove all the constants co constant columns from the fingerprint columns so which are like one all the ones or all the zeros which are not required in in modeling so it, it will save save memory as well as time too so now if you want to remove very low variance columns then you can just set it up and then you will remove all the columns and some of the important mm, columns will be will be kept and will then move into this cross validation node meta node and then again you know divide the data into five sets and then train it and uh, prepare the final model for you and this is the scorer where again you can see the scores and, and this is the rock curve node 
uh, you can visualize the rock and says the area under the curve is 0.76. So for the settings of this uh, rock curve node, you need to set the class column. You need to set the positive class column. You can either select mutagen or non-mutagen, and then uh, you can see you have to select the probability column, which is so. If you're selecting non-mutagen, make sure you use p equal to non-mutagen. If you're selecting mutagen, you have to select p equal to mutagen. So then after that, you just give it and it will it will plot the area for you. So if I select mutagen. Then I need to give this and remove this. Then once done, it just executed. It will be similar 0.765. Yeah. So this is how you can uh, just try to model the data, and you can add multiple uh, classifiers to it. And after this, low variance filter and multiple cross validation nodes just change change the. You know, but change the this uh, this this uh, this node. If you are if you are using Weka, then uh, so this I have used the Weka predictor. There are other ones here, the SVM learner, where uh, you can you, need, you don't have to use the the Weka predictor for that. So I think this one uses the non Weka version, which uses the SVM learner, and there is the SVM predictor here. And which 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 predicts predicts it. So uh, so for if you are using a different package, make sure you use that uh, predictor. So SVM learner won't work with the Weka predictor here because those two have different formats of data. Uh, after they they get output, after it gets output from the first node, and it has different ways to you know compute the data. So the package what you are using, you have to use that uh, predictor notes if you have any questions uh, do mail me at abc or at indiana.ed thank you